welcome to my views and news some new stories from ethiopia and eritrea for you main new stories about likely visit of eritrean president esas woki is he going to visit ethiopia last night an ethiopian uh, government official a minister spoke about esas woki's likely visit of ethiopia details for you could this be a breakthrough in improvement in ethiopia eritrea relations did isas woki assured uh, ethiopian delegation that he was going to visit ethiopia second viewers the fano fighters and uh, ethiopian security forces clashed yesterday around kobo uh i did two videos yesterday now several pictures videos are being shared showing some ethiopian soldiers taken prisoner by fano fighters at least one zu 23 two anti aircraft gun was set on fire by fano fighters where did this incident happen and what was the gravity of the clashes what is the situation in kobo now how was the last night any fighting any roads closed we have a detailed update for you from north wallo kobo thirdly words uh, detention of a priest uh, sarake uh berhan is turning into a controversial issue a dispute between tigray orthodox church and ethiopian orthodox church where is sarak berhan he arrived in addis ababa from australia uh yesterday he was detained at addis ababa airport he was not allowed to fly to makale he wanted to fly to makale but he was stopped he was told to return to australia what happened then tigray archbishop have issued a joint statement uh, about the detention of sarak berhan uh, we have details of this important development for you and now it has been confirmed that behind the detention of sarak berhan is ethiopian orthodox church and ethiopian government officials Firstly, was first new stories about Isas Woki, Eritrean uh, president. Is he going to visit Ethiopia? Yesterday, uh, we saw pictures released by Eritrean uh, information minister. The pictures showed Ethiopian and Eritrean delegations holding a meeting in Cairo, Egypt. PM Abi of Ethiopia. President Sass of Woki of Eritrea both are in Cairo at least they were in Cairo yesterday uh, yesterday a conference on regional security on crisis in Sudan was held in Cairo and after that they might have uh, departed uh, but yesterday they were in Cairo and uh, they met uh, they held a meeting on Wednesday uh on wednesday evening i think they held a meeting bilateral uh, issues were discussed according to an ethiopian minister ridwan hussain is national security advisor uh, his rank is equal to that of minister very close to the prime minister of ethiopia uh, and uh, he has worked in Eritrea to in the past and he is the one who negotiated Pretoria deal on behalf of uh, Ethiopian federal government and he is the one who held uh, discussions with Ola Oromo Liberation Army on behalf of Ethiopian government in Zanzibar so he is the main man when it comes to security issues uh national security head close to pm rb and he is accompanying pm rb in cairo when pm rb attended uh, a regional summit there uh, ridwan was there accompanying the prime minister there uh, isas was accompanied by yemena gabri mas uh, yemena gabri not yemena gabri maskel yemena gabri usman saleh 
uh, and a meeting was held on the sidelines of uh, the conference. Uh, no statement from uh, PM Abi. I have not seen any statement from PM Abi confirming his meeting, but uh, ART information minister confirmed the meeting. And then Ridwan Hussain uh, tweeted last night. He said that PM Abi and uh, President Isaias met cordial meeting. He used the word cordial. Cordial meeting. Bilateral issues were discussed. Crisis in Sudan also came under discussion. And he further said that the two sides vowed to deliberate on bilateral issues in Isas Evoki, President Isas Evoki's visit to Ethiopia. He did not uh, tell the schedule of the visit, he said uh, soon. So it means that in coming days or weeks, President of Eritrea, Esas Avoki, is going to visit Ethiopia. And maybe uh, it was agreed uh, at the meeting between the two delegations uh, held on Wednesday. Maybe Esas Avoki, maybe PM Abi invited him to visit Ethio Ethiopia or Esas Avoki assured that he would visit Ethiopia and then bilateral issues would be discussed. So, overall, Isas Avoki's visit to Ethiopia is being confirmed by Ethiopian government officials, not by Eritrean government officials. I think confirmation should have come from Eritrea because Isas Avoki is going to visit Ethiopia. Uh, but obviously, if Ridwan is saying something about visit, it means that it was discussed. This uh, visit uh, issue was discussed at uh, the meeting. We'll see uh, in coming days. It could lead to a breakthrough in uh, Ethiopia era relations if Isa Savoki visits Ethiopia. He visited several countries in the past two months or so China, Russia, Saudi Arabia, uh, Egypt, Kenya, uh, and uh, not his neighbor, neighbor Ethiopia. Ethiopia Eritrea jointly fought a war against Tigray fighters. But we have not seen PM Abe visit Eritrea or Eritrean Prince Asabuk visit Ethiopia in the last uh, one and a half years. Uh, so let's see what happens. Overall, a good development. I always say that uh, the two sides need to sit and uh, create common ground for cooperation. Their cooperation was on one point agenda mainly in the last two years, and that, that, that was about TPLF. They wanted to make TPLF irrelevant. Whether they uh, succeeded or not, now they need new points of engagement, new areas of cooperation, new sectors of coordination. For that, they need to sit, they need to uh, form committees, they need to have deliberations and then they can decide what to do next, how much to cooperate, how much to coordinate, in which sectors of uh, the economy they can cooperate. So let's hope that it's us working with it. Uh, proves to be uh, an important visit in uh, the strengthening of Ethiopia relations. PM Abi a few days ago evaded a question about Ethiopia relations at a parliament session that led to start of speculation that all was not well. Uh, but Isas Avoki's upcoming visit, if it happened uh, to Ethiopia, could lead to strengthening of bilateral relations. And I would say that Tigray should also be made part of uh, the discussions if discussions are held in Addis Ababa between PM Abi and uh, President Isayas. Uh, for lasting peace, you need some sort of engagement between Tigray leaders and Eritrean leaders. Secondly, we are the Kobo North Wallo heavy clashes yesterday in Kobo city in surrounding areas too. Pano fighters and Ethiopian security forces clashed in several towns and fighting was reported in Kobo, around Kobo, Gobie, Kobo, Robit, Zobal Mountains, some Amhara news outlets claimed Kobo had come under Fano control, wrong claim, incorrect reporting. Fano fighters did enter Kobo yesterday, some roles were blocked and Ethiopian National Defense Force followed. Fano fighters fled or they hid themselves. Ethiopian military started house-to-house -house searches. 
uh, and dozens of youths were arrested. Fano fighters claim they have not suffered a single uh, loss uh, in terms of casualties in yesterday's fighting and they claim that several ENDF soldiers have been killed and wounded, taken to Alamata and Voldi hospital, though it's not clear. But uh, Fano uh, fighters uh, yesterday during this escalation carried out an attack on a ZU-23-2 anti-aircraft gun of Ethiopian National Defense Force which was on its way from Voldia towards Kobo. Reportedly, it was hit around Gobie. It was set on fire uh, when Pano fighters attacked the ZU-23-2. Uh, Ethiopian National Defense Force soldiers were injured and ZU-23-2 caught fire. It has been confirmed by several sources. It, the attack happened along the main road. It seemed that a convoy of Ethiopian National Defense Force came under attack from Fano fighters near Gobie yesterday. And secondly, pictures are being shared by Fano fighters. They say they have captured several Ethiopian National Defense Force soldiers. You can see one picture on screen shared yesterday by Pro Fano news outlets. Well, a new picture, I could not confirm. Uh, the geolocation but it seems to be a new picture showing some ENDF soldiers. So gradually Fano fighters are showing ENDF captives. When uh, three months uh, ago this escalation started between Fano and Ethiopian National Defense Force, we saw that Fano avoided showing ENDF soldiers as POWs. Now things have changed. Now, Ethiopian Air Force is conducting air strikes. Uh, Fano fighters are being shown as uh, POWs by Ethiopian military. Ethiopian military is telling how many Fano fighters have been killed. Like it, 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 it claimed when it said that 200 were killed in East Gojam. Uh, and Fano is reciprocating as well. It is showing ENDF soldiers as POWs. ENDF soldiers uh, were captured in large numbers by Tigray fighters too in the two-year-long war. Tigray captured thousands of ENDF POWs. So hard times ahead again for ENDF that uh, now Fano fighters are taking them prisoner and showing them. Though no official confirmation, officially Fano does not acknowledge that it has carried out an attack on Ethiopian military. It has captured Ethiopian army soldiers. But uh, through their... Uh, uh, news outlets, they share pictures, videos showing that uh, these uh, soldiers captured, uh, ENDF soldiers have been captured by a Fano of fighters. Overall, Kobo, relative calm in Kobo today, no fighting last night, uh, traffic back to normal, uh, large scale arrests in a Kobo city of youths, those who are seen as uh, supporters, suspicious of uh, uh, supporting Fano fighters, they have been arrested. In coming hours, we could see some pressure by the government uh, showing some Fano fighters. Reportedly, according to government officials, they have captured some Fano fighters. They could show them. Let's see. Thirdly, viewers, arrest, detention of Sarek Birhan, an Orthodox priest, is turning into a controversial issue, a dispute between Tegaray archbishops and the Ethiop Orthodox Church. Sereke uh, Birhan landed at Bole Airport of Addis Ababa yesterday. He arrived from Australia. He is an Orthodox priest. He wanted to travel to Makale, but he was stopped at the Bole Airport. He was not allowed to take a transit flight to Makale. He was told to return to Australia. He refused to return. He is still at the airport. Just uh, two hours ago, we got this information from the airport that he is there. Uh, why isn't he returning? He says that he wants to visit Tigray. He wants to visit uh, the people wounded in Tigray, wounded in war. Basically, he wants to attend the Sunday's meeting. We know that on Sunday, Tigray archbishops are going to meet. They are going to vote uh, to uh, elect new bishops. The meeting has been declared illegal by Ethiopian Orthodox Church. The church says that Sunday's meeting is illegal. PM Abi Keta Chaurada. Regional federal officials must stop Sunday's meeting. To, they must stop the process of selection, election of bishops. Uh, and uh, since uh, uh, Sereke -e Berhan wants to be part of this uh, election reportedly, that is why church filed a complaint against Sereke -e Berhan 
and just said that Sadeke Birhan has been using hateful uh, language uh, in the past against the church, against Ethiopian government. That way he should be stopped. He should not be allowed to uh, travel to Makale. He could fuel conflict uh, by joining uh, Tigray archbishops. That is why Sereke Birhan still detained at Bol Airport. Meanwhile, Tigray archbishops have issued a joint statement. They are warning. They are calling for the release of Sereke Birhan. They say if Sereke Birhan is not released, Tigray archbishops, Tigray Orthodox followers will take to the streets. They will protest. They will take out a rally. So, you see that uh, Tigray Orthodox Church and the main church are on a collision course. Main church announcing, uh, uh, it says that Tigray's upcoming meeting is illegal. Tigray uh, pressing ahead with uh, this meeting. Will Tigray archbishops uh, elect new bishops on Sunday? Or will they start the procedure and they'll delay the actual uh, election that we'll see in coming days, uh, in, the, in the next 48 hours? Before that, tensions rising over the detention of Sarek Birhan, still detained at Bol Airport in Addis Ababa, Ethiopian capital. A thick fortune.